Evaluate the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of 2 minus x all over x squared plus 3x minus 10. When evaluating a one-sided limit, a good first step is to substitute, directly substitute, into the expression the value where you're finding the limit at. So in this case, I'm finding the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. Substituting a 2 for x I find that I get 0, 2 minus 2 is 0, over 2 squared 4 plus 6 minus 10 is 0. Direct substitution yields 0 over 0. This implies that at x equals 2, the limit exists. And if the limit exists, if the two-sided limit exists, that implies that both one-sided limits exist, and they're the same value. The limit as x approaches 2 from the right and the limit approaches as x approaches 2 from the left would be the same value, and that would actually be the equal to the limit as x approaches 2 from both sides. So what I can do to evaluate this, although it says the limit as x approaches 2 from the right, I can use the normal strategies that can be used to, value, to evaluate a limit. In this case, it looks like factoring and simplifying could be used to evaluate this limit, so that's what I'll do. In the denominator, x squared plus 3x minus 10 is factorable. It factors to x plus 5 times x minus 2. The numerator is 2 minus x. This is close to the quantity of x minus 2 in the denominator, but it's not exactly the same. Before I can eliminate those, I would have to factor a negative 1 to the front of the numerator. What I'll do is, I'll take the quantity of 2 minus x, factor a negative to the front, and factoring a negative to the front allows me to reverse the order of those two terms which are being subtracted. If you think about distributing a negative back through the parentheses, negative x plus 2 would be the result of distributing the negative. Negative x plus 2 would be that result. And that's what I have in the original problem. There's a negative x and a positive 2. So factoring a negative out to the front in this way does not change the value of the original problem, does not change what that numerator was. I'm just writing it in a way that allows me to cancel that out with the, value, with the quantity of x minus 2 in the denominator. A cancellation such as this does not change the value of the limit. This is, this is still equal to the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of, I'm left with negative 2 in the numerator, and an x plus 5 in the denominator. Now at this point, this limit can be evaluated through direct substitution. I'm technically evaluating the limit as x approaches 2 from the right, but I'll just substitute a 2 for x, and that gives me negative 1 7th, which is the answer to the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. The process that I just went through was the process, the same process that I would have went through to find the limit as x approaches 2 of the 2 minus x over x squared plus 3x minus 10. The limit as x approaches 2 is equal to negative 1 7th. And even though I'm being asked to find the limit as x approaches 2 from the right, this same process can be used. If the limit as x approaches 2 is equal to negative 1 7th, that implies that the limit as x approaches 2 from the right and the limit as x approaches 2 from the left, both of those will equal negative 1 7th. Both, both one-sided limits equal negative 1 7th. So I have found the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. The correct answer is negative 1 7th.